there was a guy, he was a surfer from, from California. Long hair, all dressed in Indian clothes. Beard, beads. I figured that's the person I would go to India with. He said that he was going to take a walking trip in India. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> So we started in our walking trip. My feet burned. He said, my guru is up in the hills. So I decided to go up to the mountains with him. I didn't believe in gurus. The night before, we were to arrive at his guru. We had stayed at the house, and I got up to go to the bathroom. And I went outside, and the stars were magnificent. And it was the first time I thought about my mother. She had died six months before. She was a soul. Inside this house, and I hadn't told anybody about this. And the next day, we drove on to the to the guru. Up on that hill, he said, the guru was there at the, up the hill. at that top of that hill. And then it was a long, long path to a meadow. In the meadow, uh, there were 20 or 30 people all dressed in white around a central figure. An old man with a blanket or rose on his shoulder. And my mind said to me, This is a cult. I won't go any farther. So the old man pointed at me. (laughs) 
about your mother last night. It was a miracle. I didn't tell anybody about that. Just me. privy to my mind. My mind was blown by that miracle. I was thinking, my gosh, he knows my mind. started to think about the thoughts that I had that I wouldn't want anybody to know. And, and I looked up at him and he was looking at me with such love. Unconditional love. was loving me with my thoughts, with, with all of the stuff, with all of the stuff. I never had unconditional love. That moment, I loved everybody. When I looked into his eyes, I loved everybody, including me. Including me. From then on, my life was just love, 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 love. on I was identified with my 